Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining us here for your Central Florida weather update. I'm News 6 meteorologist Samara Kokinas. After waking up at 66 degrees this afternoon, we managed to get up to 88. So a warm day, but just one degree below the average for this time of year. The radar showing a few light rain showers moving into southern Osceola County tonight. We could see a few more of those showers make their way north to into Kissimmee, possibly Point Siena, and maybe even southernmost Orange County. But I think most of Central Florida will remain dry. Our next weather maker is just to our north. You see this cold front, but watch this as it gets closer to central Florida. What's going to happen is it's going to move in. We're going to build up all of that moisture ahead of this system, and then what's it's going to fade out. So basically it's going to stall out over central Florida being the focal point of our rain chances and our unsettled weather pattern that will last well into next weekend. Starting the clock at six tonight, maybe a few sprinkles of rain, but otherwise a dry night ahead, relatively clear with just a few clouds here and there. So we start the day with plenty of sunshine tomorrow and then by noon those clouds begin to billow up a little bit more and then you'll notice a few showers start to pick up after two o'clock and really spread out for that evening commute home, packing some heavy rain and and some strong wind gusts as this uh, rain kind of makes its way to the north and northeast by eight o'clock still pounding uh, central Florida across Orlando, Sanford, Daytona Beach, Palm Coast and back even in Lake and Sumter counties. But by 11 o'clock, most of central Florida is going to be drying out. The biggest hazards, the biggest takeaways here, frequent lightning will be embedded in these thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. That's when it's going to be most active. Winds will be gusting up near 45 miles per hour. The flooding, it will be temporary, but by the end of the work week, we're looking at possibly having anywhere between four and five inches of rainfall accumulate because of the amount of rain headed our way. Your overnight lows, upper 60s, low to mid 70s, upper 70s for Brevard County. And as you head to the bus stop tomorrow, make sure the kids have have a rain gear in their backpack. There will be that heavy rain to contend with in the second half of the day. Your high temperature right around 93. Now let's get you some results show your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. So as we head into the rest of the week, notice that unsettled weather pattern with 70 to 80 percent chance for rain pretty much each day. It drops off a little bit heading into next weekend and by midweek we get a break from the 90s. High temperatures will be in the mid 80s.